So you're curious about how to run long distance. You made it to the right video. Now, when we say long distance, we typically are talking about the half marathon and the full marathon. But we do know that long distance is different for each individual. And your long distance will be dependent on the race that you are training for. So the set distance would be about 5 to 25 miles based on what you're training for, such as a 10K all the way to that ultra marathon. And generally, you will be doing your long distance run on the weekend, and it will be your longest run for that week. So continue watching as we go deep in how to run long distances. And on this channel, we do give you tips and tricks of how to be a successful runner and provide fitness workout videos for a healthy lifestyle. So make sure you do subscribe to be a part of our tribe because we do provide new videos every Thursday and Saturday. So how many days a week should you run to train for your longer distance race? If you train for a half marathon, do you need to be at least training for 12 weeks before your race? You need to be running 20 to 30 miles per week, with 10 to 15 miles being dedicated to your long distance run. And if you're training for a full marathon, then you need to be training 12 to 20 weeks before your race. And you need to be running at more than 50 miles per week. And you need to be looking at running 18 to 24 miles per week for your long distance race. But do keep in mind that 20 miles is usually the peak for training for a marathon. But make sure that you're sticking to whatever fits with your training plan. Now beginners tend to get burnt out, bored, or injured during their training for their longer distance race. And that could be because a lot of time, beginners tend to run too quick. Now when you out switch on your run, you want to make sure that you are running at a pace that you're able to hold a conversation. And if you're running by yourself, do you want to make sure that you are able to sing a song aloud or to count numbers aloud without feeling breathless? And if you're getting burnt out, then that means you are running too quickly. And that means you need to slow down. Now, you want to be thinking about gradually increasing your mileage when you're out for your long distance race. And that means you could be adding one to two miles per week. And that's to help prevent injury. And as you increase your mileage, you want to slow it down. So therefore you don't overstress the body. You want to give the body time enough to adapt to this new mileage before you start pushing that pace. And if any time that you're out on your run and you feel like you can't keep up your distance, then you could try to slow it down and try to run walk method until you are able to be able to run continuously all those mileage. Now, if you are feeling pain anytime, do you want to make sure to stop and listen to your body. Now you also want to be more mindful of your form because a lot of time bad running form is the reason that could be causing you that injury and pain. Now you want to make sure that you do subscribe and be a part of our tribe because we will be having a video coming out soon about different types of runs for runner. But in the meantime, when you're out and you train for your long distance run, that most important run would be your long distance run. You never want to miss a long distance run. And that's because long distance help builds endurance. Now then the other mileage you want to do your maintenance run. So you could be doing things like speed workout, interval training, or different things to fill those mileage up. But in the meantime, definitely check out our playlist for the half marathon playlist and a full marathon playlist and that will help you to be able to train for your distance race because our goal is not only to get you to that start line but to help you finish your race strong. In order to run long distance, you need to understand how to run longer without getting tired. So we have a whole video about that, 
how to run longer without getting tired, so definitely check out that video. But I am going to give you some tips of how to run longer without getting tired right here in this video as well. That means that you do want to start out with a warm up because you want to open up those muscles and loosen it, the muscles and joint to prepare it for a run because most likely it will be cold. And this will help you either by doing a light jog or brisk walk, or you might even can do even some dynamic stretches. And cool down is just as important as the warm up. So that means that after your run, you want to be cooling down by easing, doing a slow, easy jog at the end, or that nice walk for at least five minutes after that run. And this because you will be having lactic acid building up through that run. So it help decrease that lactic acid build up as well as prevent soreness in those muscles. And you might even want to be doing some stretches, especially 30 minutes after that run to help stretch out that body to help prepare it, especially if you are running the next day. And the other thing that you want to think about is your posture. How is your posture? So you want to be making sure that you are looking up and not down at your feet when you are out there running. You want your back to be straight and your shoulders to be relaxed as well. And you want to make sure you're not having tension in your hands, your arms, and even that wrist. So it should be loose as well. Because when you do have the correct posture in place in the correct running form, that will help you prevent injury. Now you also want to make sure that you are running with the proper shoes. You will be out there running longer, so you need to make sure that you are running in shoes that would be comfortable for your feet. And if you are running with improper shoes, this will cause injury. So beginner runners do end their run early due to they might have in some muscle tightness. So muscle tightness is the big reason why beginners end that run early. So that means that when you're out on that run, if you are experiencing some tightness in your muscles, you want to stop and stretch those muscles or that problem area that you are feeling that pain or some tightness in and stretch that out for about 30 seconds and then continue on your run. Now, or if you are feeling some pain during that run, you might want to go ahead and stretch it out a little bit, but if that pain is increasing or it continue on your run, you might want to go ahead and cut that run short. So this is why it's very important that you really understand the difference between pain and tightness. So you know the difference. Nutrition is a very other important element to run longer. Now we do have a video on how to fuel for a long run. So if you are interested in nutrition plan for long distances, definitely check out that video for an extra benefit of nutrition and hydration plan. But if you are running longer, especially if you're out for 90 minutes or longer, you need to be carb loading. So that means that you'll be eating food with high concentration of carbohydrates and carbohydrate food would be something like pasta or bread, just to name a few. And this will help you be able to endure those long runs because it helps you with that endurance to maintain that long distance. Along with nutrition, you need to make sure that you are hydrated. When you are out on that run, you will be sweating. So that means that you need to be replacing the sweat that you are losing with water, so hydration, as well as sports strength, especially if you are running 90 minutes or longer. And when you come back from that run, you need to be rehydrating with that fluid that you have lost throughout that run. So you definitely need to be making sure that you have some hydration plan in place. And that means that you want to be carrying your water or even some sports strength. And if you're curious about how to carry water while running, then definitely check out our video on how to carry water while running. So therefore it could give you option to help you run hands free. So you want to be cross training and strength training into your plan. So that means that on the days that you are not running, you want to be alternating and getting some strength training and cross training in, 
And this means that you will be able to build up those muscles and be endurance for those runs without actually causing physical stress on your body. And this will also help you to run longer. And then if you're one of those people that need motivation to get out there and run with other people, then recruit your friends and family members to go out there and run with you to help you to get through those long runs. And if you do not have a friend or a family member that you can run with, then consider joining a local running group. You can find a local running group by just going on google.com and look for local running groups in your area. Or you could just check out a local running store and they will have some options for you as well. You might just need to change up your environment by making your run more interesting. So that means that if you are a person that always runs the same route the same way, then reverse that route and run it a different way or the opposite way to make that run more exciting. Or try out some trail runnings because trail runs will give you great view and great nature to see. Now trail run will not be for everyone due to the terrain that you are running, such as you have to deal with those sands, rocks, and even those high altitudes and different levels. But if that is something that is interesting to you, then definitely give that a try. And if you're a person that always running on treadmill for those long runs, then consider going outside to get those long runs in. So how do you know you're ready to run your long distance race? Have you completed a 10K and want to do a half marathon? Or have you ran a half marathon and looking to advance to a full marathon? Then you're just halfway there and you just need to train for half more the distance. Are you being consistent and you going out there and you hitting your mileage and you sticking to your training plan and you are doing everything that you are supposed to do? Then keep going and we believe in you. We know you're going to make it. So how to build your mind for running? So running is a mental sport just as much as a physical sport. So that means that you need to build your mind up for running. And now some runners are able to run that distance, but they're not mentally ready to run that distance. So definitely build up your mental strength and capacity to get out there and run that long distance. And that might mean that you might need to distract your mind while you are out there by even listening to music or have some type of positive self mantra while you're out there for those runs. And definitely be looking at our channel for those morning running chant that we definitely have on our channel that could help encourage you. If you need some podcasts, you can just download and listen to it on your run and even some, more, some motivation running motivation that we do have on our channel as well to help you while you're out there running, get you through those runs. And if you are trying to complete a running goal, such as running to slow distance, we actually have a video on how to complete running goal because we want to help you complete this goal of running long distance. So definitely check that video out of how to get that goal done, complete and execute. That's what we're here for and make sure you like and share this video with others that are trying to run long distance so they could be encouraged and know the tools to get them through those runs until we see you next time. Bye-bye.